Briscoe City, Alabama. This vacant lot is a popular playground for neighborhood children, like 22-month-old DJ McMillan. But lurking beneath the grass is a hidden danger, an abandoned well that will be the site of a heart-stopping 13-hour ordeal. The crisis began when DJ's mother heard the child's panicked screams. I looked down, I didn't see him, but I can hear him calling for me. He's calling mama. And right then, my, my heart just fell in my stomach. I just didn't know what to do. Firefighter Clyde Anderson has never encountered a situation like this. He was wedged in with his feet up, his head up, it, uh, kind of a V-shape, you know. Uh, it looks like maybe he fell over backwards. Making matters worse, DJ is lodged 14 feet down with no way to pull him out. Fire crews scramble to come up with a plan. They set about drilling another hole next to the well in hopes of reaching the boy from the side. We used Alabama Power. They came there to help, and they were a big help. But we still got in there with our shovels and other type of equipment. But the work is painstaking and slow. If they're not careful, the well could collapse. I was afraid he might slide. And if the hole was much deeper, then he would slide actually out of reach. And of course, if he's, he could slides out of reach, and he's where he can't breathe, then, then we've lost him. In my own mind, I felt like I had lost him because I knew that he had been down there for a long time, and I thought that maybe he was going to suffocate. After more than 13 grueling hours, rescuers are just inches from reaching DJ. Clyde is handed the delicate task of climbing head first into the hole to save the desperate child. I felt inadequate. No matter how much training I had, I felt, boy, am I up to this? Can I do this? And so uh, I was trying to make sure I, I remember what I need to do, how I need to do it, and uh, minimize any risk to that baby. Tense moments pass, and then... Clyde emerges with DJ in his arms. Mother and son are finally reunited. Despite a few scrapes and a few tears, little DJ is going to be just fine. Yeah, I just couldn't believe how everything worked so perfect and how the whole community came together. DJ's grateful mother will never forget the dedicated rescuers who fought to save her little boy. I pray for the Lord to send an angel down there to keep my son safe. And I believe that God did just that.